Oh my god, that fucking froggy. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Awesome Knots. Today we are taking a look at a new character in the beta. It's the Interloper, who is an awesome uh, support, fighter, and initiator. So Ix does some really good support. He has uh, some really nice options available to him. The first option available to Ix is his uh, psionic bond slash displace. You throw a crystal at another knot to create a bond, which uh, will heal allies and damage enemies. You can then use the ability again to switch knots out with your position. So if you're standing in front of a turret, it's a really, really good time to uh, pull people back into the fray, and you can net some really easy kills in this way. Although net Nix, uh, Ix does have some uh, trouble netting kills for himself. You can get the healing and damage boost up to 30%. Gaining a shield after displacing an ally seems okay if you're running more of a support build. Uh, there's a speed bonus to allies and a slow to enemies. That seems like a really, really tasty option. Increasing the shot and the uh, range of the bond by 25%, obviously good. Making enemies weaker and allies stronger, which uh, obviously could fit well with the slow, I think. And then finally, the root T increases the radiate attack speed, which is just your melee attack by 30%. Uh, the, the refract, uh, you basically become impervious for 0.5 seconds, which isn't long, but it can make a difference. You can increase the duration by 50%. Uh, enemies that surround you can get an amplified damage by 15% for 4 seconds. Really, really nice. Self-healing effect is usually what I like to go for along with the duration. And then there's also uh, flying rocks around you that can do a, a good amount of damage if you pair it with the duration as well. Finally, there's a speed boost for two seconds after using Refract, which can be good for those escapey moments. And then uh, the Psionic Wrecking Ball increases Psionic Bond healing damage by 200% if you use Refract while you're bonded. Finally, you've got the uh, Radiate Crystals, which basically shoot from your hand, but there's also some smaller crystals that shoot out. I think there's three or so. Uh, the first option up is some range, which is extremely tasty. Not something I generally go for uh, on bot matches, but I probably will later. There's a lifesteal effect, heal uh, 40 per bolt, which can get really good if you stack it with the attack speed of the bond. Uh, you've got the damage of the radiate bolt, which seems pretty good. Damage of radiate bolt while having an active bond, which obviously stacks. You can increase the amount of scouting crystals by two at max stacks and then finally you can leave a crystal at the end of radiate bolt which seems really really awesome as well kind of giving it uh, a little bit of a sentry feel all right and here we are with ix the interloper friends he is uh made of crystals not meth that that shit doesn't give you magic powers but uh Ix's crystals do. He's got that first jump and then he can hover for quite a long time with uh, an upward motion. Hover's not the proper word because that's what Scree does. And uh, you can run out of that upward motion eventually. I can't go from the bottom lane to the top lane on this uh, Starstorm map. The new map, Starstorm map, I don't think I've uploaded uh, a video with it yet. I'll heal this Raylan up. But yeah, I can't get from the bottom lane to the top lane without using Refract. It's a very, very close jump, um, like, Ix could probably peek his head up and heal somebody that's at the top, but, um, without using the refract, he's not gonna be able to, to stand on the top lane. I need this, Ted. Fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I really like the Star Storm map, um, I don't think I've really talked about that much. Blocking that Swiggin's Anchor, oh yeah. Um, one of the interesting things is that the portals, um, can really mix me up. I have a lot of situations, oh my god, where enemies will get behind me or end up in the top lane where you don't necessarily see them coming up behind you. It's a really, really nice map for Lone Star because you can port through the, the portal in the middle and then come up kind of behind the person, take a little damage from their turret but uh, drop the bowl and drop through the floor. It's really, really awesome. Um, and Ix, with his huge jumping power, can drop down through the floor and come back up as well, although I don't find much use for it generally. Um, probably the first thing that I like to build with Ix currently is the mines. Just a little bit of extra damage is really, really helpful. Um, and it also gives it more of a sentry feel, which is good. Everybody likes that. 
Oh yeah, I thought that froggy was gonna splash dash me right there, but he did not. The timing of the refract is obviously extremely important. Oh, let's mess this Yuri up. Oh! Nothing. Nothing doing. Trying to sweep some of the bombs out of the way. Obviously, Ix is uh, a pretty hard counter for a lot of bigger classes. Pe things like Clunk, um, really gonna have a difficult time landing an explosion unless the refract skill is down. So I really, really do like that about Ix. Um, as far as clearing lanes or things like that, damn Ted, <laughs> he's not too great. Um, his damage seems a little bit low. He's definitely supposed to be more of a support character, but he does have a lot of damage upgrades and things like that. And I managed to block the anchor, but they are going to wreck me if I go back out there. Ix has such a low health total to start with. It's uh, quite a thing. Oh, wow. That worked. How did it work so well? I'll heal uh, Minty Raylin up because we're friends. We're friends now. <sighs> I think lifesteal is also a really, really good thing to get on your uh, on your melee, on your auto attack. Obviously, if you're uh, if you've got a low health total, it'll help you to stay in the lane a little bit longer, which uh, you need to do because you're supposed to be here supporting your allies and healing shit. So, I don't uh, consider myself really proficient with Ix at the moment, but I definitely am having a, a fun time playing with him. He's got a different rhythm compared to most of the other knots, and I definitely healed that Ted up through uh, the Froggy and Swiggin's Assault. So I shall take this kill as booty, although you might have missed <laughs> noticed that I keep fucking missing. Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time. Uh, that's one reason that I've been playing a lot of more uh, melee characters, Skulldeer and stuff like that. I don't know. Rocco's pretty cool too. Oh, look at that. Sweeping those mines out of the way. Yeah, Ix definitely has a lot of potential. I'm glad to see a knot like this in the game. Um, just because it's, it's that different, you know what I mean? There's a lot of characters that feel similar. Um, not necessarily Ted and Raylin, but they are sort of the same feel um not in their skills but definitely their auto attacks and things like that and ix even ha offers something different as far as his auto attack goes with like the main crystal coming out and some little shotgun crystals so you are doing extra damage if you're up close uh i'm going to buy mines right now my little uh crystally mines 1.5 seconds is definitely not that long um in real life but in awesome knots it can feel like an eternity, especially during a team fight or something like that. So, a little bit of extra damage on my auto attack now. Um, still sort of thinking I should have gone for heal, but this helps me clear lanes faster, which is pretty important. So, we're chewing up some turrets. I'm gonna try and get these fuckers off my bottom. And it worked, but our turret is at like half health. I mean, obviously we're gonna win. It's a fucking bot match, but... I don't want them to get a turret. That's like my whole thing when I'm playing. I'd also like to get a killing spree and such, but there's no killing spree music or any music at all for that matter for Ix at the moment, which is pretty sad. Um, yeah, you notice his freaking jump is huge, but I can't quite get up to the, uh, the top lane from the bottom unless I use the refract, which I'm not going to waste because... <laughs> It is precious to me. Oh god, I wish I had it there for the Swiggins instead of the stupid Froggy. Swiggins do a lot of damage. Come at me, bro. I'll bind you up good. Ugh. Yeah, I think with uh, amplified damage on the rock, bonding them after that, and then uh, loading out with like attack speed, self-heal, and damage on the, um, on the auto attack, you definitely will punch a hole and stuff. The support build is definitely lackluster. Um, right now I think I am doing more of a support build, but it's got potential. Does it need some tweaking? I don't know. I think Ronimo's done a relatively good job, as far as I can tell, of uh, keeping this character fairly balanced. Even the Overdrive characters that came out only took a little bit of tweaking. You'll still hear people uh, complaining about Chucho, but whatever. That's another interesting character with like a great 
and different move set that that is the reason that I keep coming back to awesome knots is just because everything is so awesome <laughs> everything is so different everything's so innovative everything feels different every hero that you play it's not just like um, in the skills it's also in the movement speed and things like that also who your your teammates are sometimes you get some some combos that you wouldn't even really consider so definitely why this is one of my favorite MOBAs I do hope that they will fix the peer-to-peer -peer networking thing uh, in short order but I can understand you know other things going on can't quite figure it out uh, how to do it maybe don't want to make the monetary investment which is not fair if that's the case because I've made a lot of monetary investment in this game I'm not crazy about skins and shit like that but all of the expansion characters yes I will definitely buy those um, it might seem awesome not should go free to play or something like that when did I buy uh, crystal crunch whatever I've got some self heal on my <laughs> on my melee attack now and that Swiggins just got chewed up by that fucking rift um, so yeah we were able to just shoot crystals into his face I almost missed that bottom fucking portal which will kill you and give the team the enemy team 40 43 solar 45 solar some shit like that an exorbitant amount so now we are through their first layer of turrets definitely um, having fun with X you can see I'm just kinda dancing around the Yuri and using the refract there's some good damage uh, with the bonds combined with my melee attack I I think this has a lot of potential as a character I don't necessarily know what would counter it um, too hard just because it does have that invulnerability ability um, I guess maybe things like scold ear but if you, if you see it coming if you feel it in your bones then you can just uh, you can hit that refract and it basically counters anything you know that's that's really really amazing I'm gonna finish up my crystal crunch now um, because I apparently bought it earlier without even realizing it and um, there it is delicious mm, is that crystal crunch or is that the bond length thing duration whatever doesn't matter I'm gonna smash it up um, yeah I do probably prefer the support set for Nyx just because healing your teammates is so freaking helpful yeah tried to take out some of those mines but uh, this is a pretty strong wave they got going they've been doing some work in this lane oh my god that fucking froggy <laughs> that's hilarious <clears throat> Yeah, I really approve of Ix as a character. Um, you know, when when I first heard about him and read about his abilities, I was well, that that sounds fucking weird, you know. But um, it, it it pans out relatively well. Teleporting people into turrets with that bond ability is something that I don't think I've shown off yet. Uh, so I will try and do that if the opportunity presents itself. And I got three hundred masala. Go on home, get some shit, enemies killed, they get hit, something like that, buy some things. There's the last half of the Crystal Crunch, so yeah, I did go for Bond Length slash Duration, and then Crystal Crunch. Crystal Crunch, it's delicious! Magically, spatially delicious. It's spatially aware cereal. Wow, that's amazing. So you can see I'm getting some pretty good healing in the lane, but I used my refract too early, so the Swiggins was able to come in and get that anchor on me in short order. Thank you, Raylin, for that assist. And I keep on missing that uh, that bond. It's really, really important that you hit it, whether uh, on a teammate or an enemy. <laughs> Just, just master it, as you should with all Awesome Nods abilities. I haven't put that much time into Ix, maybe two or three hours, but uh, I'm relatively satisfied with uh, my progress thus far. I have not died yet, which uh, I was having a lot of trouble with early on because I was 
playing it different. I saw fighter under the description and I was like, all right, I know how fight, let's do it. One thing about the bond is uh, it doesn't pass through turrets. So that, that that's kind of disappointing, but we do have enough characters probably who pass through turrets already. Um, maybe too many, I don't know. Coco and Rocco, maybe some more, I don't know. I can't recall at the moment. But we're definitely uh, knocking this turret in. Definitely trying to end this game pretty quick. But I do want to uh, get maybe some duration on my refract. Or maybe some damage or healing. Which are all freaking awesome options. But if you are going for the um, destructive X build, you'll want to get rid of the healing. Or maybe the duration for amplify damage. Which is freaking devastating. Hit that Amplify damage, and then um, that bond will chew things up more than you ever thought. Get the, uh, I like the, 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 the damage slash healing increase of the bond. Oh, I dodged that so good. Let's see if I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Swiggins. I don't know. Oh, he got me again. Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah. With the lifesteal, no problem. He doesn't have lifesteal. <laughs> and, uh, I believe maybe I got the attack speed after my bond is finished. Oh, yeah. I definitely like Ix. Um, would I like to see more power behind it? Maybe, but then people cry for a nerf. I'd rather take an underpowered character and, uh, break the current metagame with it than have an obviously overpowered character and be like, yep. I fit into the cookie cutter mold. Oh my god, you okay? You okay, Ted? I'm sorry I didn't heal you there. I'm still really bad at hitting this bond. But there's some damage on Swiggins from the, uh, the refract. Not fantastic damage, but, uh, it's definitely enough to KO somebody at low health if you jump in there with it. And even better, you're fucking immune while doing it, so there's really no reason not to. I'm gonna go heal that Ted up. Teddy! Teddy! Come here, my boy! <laughs> God damn it. Where are you going? Fine, fuck off. I'm going on too. I'll see you there. Bots don't know how to teleport. Everybody knows that. There's a little more uh, damage or duration on the on the refract. Definitely a delicious thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with how the character came out. Definitely. Nabbed another kill on that Swiggins, so I think I've killed that Swiggins three or four times. <laughs> There's really not a whole lot that uh, Ix can't handle because of that refractability. I'm really, really excited for when it... What the fuck are you doing? For when he comes into full, uh, <laughs> full swing. What the fuck is wrong with that Ted? Yeah, I really want to try this guy in, in like some online multiplayer matches and, uh... Beat the shit out of some nubs. You know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna be a good feel. It's gonna be a real good feel. Oh my god. I just got wrecked. I heal myself up a little bit. This Swiggins is gonna destroy me. He got his vengeance. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I'm alive again. I don't think the game without me will end. Doesn't really rhyme. Yes, it does. But it's like a slant. Um... Something in there was wrong. I think I switched some words around. Does that count? Is that is that the uh, the foul thing to do? I I really admire the bots' tenacity. You know, they're making that final push. They want it to happen, but everybody knows it ain't gonna happen. Everybody knows we're coming in for the kill. Oh my god, I'm kind of scared of that Swiggins now. He chewed me up super hard. That monkey got devastated. There's a little heal for me with the refract. Oh man, definitely once it, once uh, Ix is built, ah, oh, just an amazing character. I can't bond with Raylan to heal quite yet, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I think the droids are in there ending it, maybe. So, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends. Your humble narrator. This has been Ix the Interloper. Oh, they're not ending it. Well, I'll help. If you did enjoy this episode, this little sneak peek at the beta, um. I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. 
definitely check out my uh, mo my online multiplayer when this uh, little fella comes to full release. And I hope that you will join us for the next time. If you remember to like, comment, and or subscribe, I will send you uh, an HDMI cable. It's six feet long. That's pretty long. You could save you some money on that unless you go to uh, that one site. I think it's Monoprice. They sell cables really cheap. A little tip from Dayton Does. Anyways, thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.